Hi guys, what's up? It's Audrey and welcome back to my channel. Hey, what's up? <laughs> so today is Sunday, June 6th, and I don't know when you guys are seeing this, but I'm going to New York City on June 14th, which is so exciting. If you guys didn't know, my parents surprised my sister with a trip to New York City for her graduation present, and I didn't know either, so it was kind of a surprise for me too. So we are really, really excited because we both love New York City, and we went once when we were like, I was like eight years old, so I don't really remember it too well. And I'm just so excited to go back. I just can't believe I'm going honestly because I didn't like plan it for months like I usually do. So I thought I would do this video where I take you guys along on everything that I do to prepare for the trip. I think these are super fun. I'm gonna be doing like, today I'm going shopping. I'm gonna be packing with you guys, prepping myself, you know, just doing all that stuff. So yeah, I thought it'd be super fun. And I'm really excited to film this video because I'm really excited to just prepare for my trip. I can't believe I'm going on vacation. I'm just really excited. <laughs> if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe and follow my Instagram and let's just get into the video. So today I'm getting ready to go to the mall with my mom and my sister and we're going shopping, obviously. I need some things. I'm putting my shoes on. I don't know why I'm trying to do this. But I'm looking for a white skirt. That's the one thing I really, really want. It's just like a good essential. So I'm gonna try and look for that. That's like something I definitely want. I'm gonna finish getting ready. I just need to put my shoes on, put some chapstick on, and then I think we're gonna go. Okay, here is my outfit of the day. Everything's from PacSun. I'm kind of in a rush, so let's get in the mall. <laughs> And they don't look like a shirt, but I really like them. And one day we're planning on going like bike riding in Brooklyn. So I think that would be cute. We took care. So we're in Paxson right now. And I got these black shorts from Forever 21. And I'm trying to find something to wear with it. So that's what we're shopping for right now. We're seeing all the options. Like Taylor's in here too. <laughs> Can you still see me? Yeah. Are you naked? <laughs> is this ugly? Yes. <laughs> Why is it so like flary? Not to know, huh? Okay, I found this shirt and I think it looks really good with these shorts. Wait, you can't keep that in with me dancing like that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I found this shirt. It's really cute. It's from the brandy section and I think it looks really good with these shorts that I just got. So I'm really happy. I think this will be a cute outfit. Definitely. Okay guys, I'm home now and I just wanted to do a little haul. So first I'm gonna start with Forever 21 and I got these really cute shorts. I've just been loving like loose kind of like paper bag shorts. That's kind of what these are. But they're basically just these black little like comfy loose shorts. And then this isn't for Nor New York City, but I recently got a gym membership and I do swimming and I don't have any athletic clothes. So I just got these little black and white little athletic shorts from Forever 21. And then I've been wanting a white skirt and I'm so happy I got one because I have so many shirts that will look so cute with it. So I just got this one. It's just a basic white skirt, but it has a cute zipper down the middle, which I really like. So yeah, I really like this, super simple. And that's everything that I got from Forever 21. And now I have one thing from PacSun. So I showed you guys this in the store, I'm pretty sure. But it's basically this white shirt and it's from the brandy melville section and it has little black flowers all over it and it looks so adorable with this and i thought this would be a really cute kind of casual outfit that's pretty much everything that i got i'm not going to do any other preparations today but i will see you the next time that i do something to prepare okay hi guys today is wednesday and i leave for my trip friday morning so this is the day that I'm gonna be doing a bunch of stuff to prepare. Today, basically what I'm going to be doing is like pampering myself. I wanna paint my nails, I want to do my mustache, I need to pluck my eyebrows, I wanna do some skincare. Yeah, so I'm going to finish drinking my smoothie, it's really good. It's frozen banana, mixed berries, and pineapple, and orange juice. So it's really, really yummy, but I'm gonna finish drinking this and then we're gonna start pampering myself. Okay guys, I am in my parents' bathroom now and I'm gonna start doing some stuff. So first thing that I wanna do is my mustache. And I feel like this is so random to film, but this is just something I have to do 
I hate filming like this. So I'm gonna wait like five minutes and then I will take this off. So I'm back without all the mustache cream on and now I'm just gonna moisturize. But the next thing that I'm gonna do is paint my nails. So I never have my nails painted, but when I do have them done, I'm like, ooh. So I found this really pretty color. It's from Essie and I think it's really pretty. It's called Eternal Optimist. Should I like answer questions or something? I don't know. I'm gonna post on here to ask me questions. I'm gonna wait like 10 minutes, start my nails a little bit, and then I'll come back and answer some questions. We are back and I have one hand painted. Ooh, this is a funny question. You guys know me so well. <laughs> Someone says, if you could eat one food for the rest of your life that isn't sushi, what would it be? That's so funny because that I was literally about to say sushi. I don't know. I really like salmon, but I don't know if I could eat that every single day. Um, so maybe noodles, honestly. I really like noodles. You can do a bunch of different meals with them. What is your goal with a YouTube channel? This would be the ideal goal. I feel like anyone who starts YouTube would love to make it into a career, but that's like a hard thing to do. If I did get in the position where I had a bunch of subscribers and like I didn't have to like have a career, I could just do that, I would totally do it. But I would wanna go to college and get like a business degree and like be an entrepreneur off of that because I think the cool thing about YouTube is that you already have a base and you can like promote it through YouTube and Instagram and all that. So I think that's such a cool thing and I would definitely want to like do more than just YouTube. Okay, so my nails are done. They're just like a nice pink color, but I'm just gonna go through some questions because this is fun. Someone says, what is your biggest life goal? The most important thing like that I wanna do with my life is truly make a difference and have a job that makes me happy and also makes a difference because I just care a lot about things. That's like a trait of mine. I just care about issues in the world and people a lot and like everything, you know? So I wanna have a job, no matter what it is, it doesn't have to be like some major difference. Like I'm not trying to like solve global warming, you know, like that's not what I'm talking about. But if I do something that maybe makes kids smile, makes kids happier or like helps the environment or whatever, you know, donates to causes that I'm passionate about, whatever it is, I don't know what I'm gonna do with a career, but that's my biggest goal in life because I think it's so important to like give back to the community and like do things that you're passionate about and make a difference and speak up about things you're passionate about. So I'm gonna take a little break from the questions. I'm going to chill for a little bit and then I'll come back, answer some more questions, pluck my eyebrows, do a face mask. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, it is later now and I just finished eating my lunch. My nails are dry so I can do things again. And I'm looking for a face mask. Oh, I have a bunch of sheet masks. Yay. I really want to do a sheet mask because as I was talking about earlier, my face is so dry right now just because I've been in the pool a lot. Ooh, I have a really fun one. I have this Yes to Coconut Ultra Hydrating for dry skin. Energizing coffee bubbling paper mask. Um, I think yes, this looks literally perfect. Okay, we are back and ready to do more pampering and answer more questions. Okay, so before we do this mask, I'm gonna tr I'm gonna pluck my eyebrows. Okay, someone says favorite song at the moment. Okay, let me share this one song. It's called Skin by Dijon. We come alive in the evening. Okay, also this song, this is by Lainey, and like, it's nothing new, but this is my favorite song by them. I heard from a couple friends that you're back with your ex again. I just love this song. <laughs> okay, I really like this song too. It's Whoa by Rich the Kid. Feet Miguel and Ty Dolla Sign. I feel so cringy saying that. I wanna ride to the stars. You got the whoa. Okay, so those are some songs I like. Okay, should we talk about this? Okay, I'm gonna talk about it. So someone asks, what are your opinions on what's happening with the heartbeat bill in Alabama? Okay, so if you guys don't know, basically right now there's been a bunch of like laws being passed, bills, I don't know what exactly, 
restricting women's reproductive rights, basically about abortions and all that stuff. And I personally am pro-choice just because that's what I believe. I think it's your body. You have the decision to do whatever you want with it. I don't think it's okay that people are like restricting ourselves and stuff. But other than that, I also think if a child is brought into this world, they should be brought into this world with love and happiness. They shouldn't be brought into this world if they truly aren't wanted or aren't gonna be in a happy home because that literally breaks my heart that kids are living in houses where they're being abused or their parents are neglecting them or their parents are drug addicts or whatever, you know? And there's so, so many kids in adoption centers who don't have a family and that's just like the saddest thing ever to me. Like it literally is like making me like wanna cry. And yeah, that's why I'm pro-choice. Sorry if you don't agree. If you don't, that's okay. But I think we should all just respect each other's opinions and respect each other's choices and not try and control other people's lives, you know? Okay, I really need to like actually get going with pampering myself instead of just answering these questions. Okay, let's look at the instructions. Gently unfold mask and apply to clean skin. Oh my gosh, that smells like heaven. It smells like coconuts. Ew. I hate like putting these on my face, but these are the only face masks that I feel like actually do something. These are, ew. <laughs> these are always like way too big for my face, but I'm gonna leave because I look ridiculous. <laughs> okay. I'm done with that. That was weird. So I'm done with the face mask and it felt good when it was on and my face does feel smooth. So I think it was pretty moisturizing, but now I'm gonna go to my room. I'm gonna like make my bed and I'm gonna start laying out some outfits that I wanna bring. Okay, so it is later now and I've been planning out all my outfits. I still wanna look for a few more things maybe. I don't know, my mom will probably help me when she gets home. But yeah, I have most of it planned out, so I'm really happy about that. But let me show you what I have. This is an outfit, this is an outfit. I have like two dress options. Um, I have this jean skirt. I have this outfit that I was shopping for earlier. And then over here I just have shorts and some shirt options. And over there I have some jean options in case it's cold. I don't know why this is over here. But I'm definitely bringing this too. Cute little outfit. And yeah, that's what I have laid out so far. So here is the suitcase, it's like barely even full and I have pretty much all my clothes in there. But yeah, that's the progress so far. Okay, so here's the jewelry. I just laid everything out to see what I'm gonna be bringing. So I have this necklace, it's really cute, just a nice basic gold necklace, a nice basic silver necklace. And then I have this star choker, which is really cute, star bracelet, and then I have my just pearl earrings, this cute ring from Brandy. And then I have these cute earrings from Brandy and these cute earrings from Urban and just some basic hoops in case I wanna wear those. So yeah, I'm gonna put all those in this little pouch. Okay, we're done. Next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to work on shoes and bags. For shoes, I'm definitely bringing my Reeboks. I'll probably wear these like the majority of the trip. I'm gonna bring these shoes. These are just like a nicer kind of sandal, brown sandal. I have these black and silver sandals, which are really nice and cute. And I think that's literally all the shoes I'm gonna bring. I really don't need that much. I'm probably gonna wear these during the day and then maybe one of these like at nighttime for dinner or something. So next part is bags. I'm pretty sure I already know like what I wanna bring. I want to bring my black Michael Kors purse. This one is just nice if I'm wearing like a fancier outfit 
and it still like holds a decent amount of stuff. Then I'm definitely bringing my Brandy Melville little mini backpack. I've had this for probably like three years now and it's the best purchase that I made. And then the other bag that I wanna bring is this bag. This one's so cute, but since it is like snake skin, I kind of have to wear it with something solid. And that's kind of all the bags I wanna bring. So I think that's it for like all the main necessities. Obviously I need like underwear, bras, and pajamas, but I'm gonna pack that all like Thursday night because obviously I need all that stuff. So that's kind of gonna be everything that I'm doing to prepare for my trip. I guess I'm almost ready. I still have like little last minute things to do, but I'm pretty much done and I'm so, so excited. Make sure to stay tuned for the New York City vlog. I'm so excited to vlog it and stuff. Also, when you see this, I will be on the plane to New York City. So make sure to comment down below things that you would recommend to do in Brooklyn, New York City, all that stuff because we have like a plan of things we want to see and do. But in case you guys have any food spots or just recommendations, make sure to comment and help me out. And also make sure to follow my Instagram because I'm going to have a lot of cute photos coming soon. And yeah, I'm so, so excited. As you guys can tell, I'm so grateful that I'm going on this trip. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.